All right, so a good friend of mine let me borrow his Emilent, if you can see that, uh, LD70 Mini EDC. He was super jazzed about it. He was using it actually for a tactical purpose. And while I disagreed with him on using it in that capacity, in general, I'm pretty stoked about the overall performance of the light, especially for its size, weight, and everything. It's pretty impressive. Comes with a magnetic charger and you know the USB A to the magnet, and the magnet goes there like uh, so. Let me see if I can get it to go. Yes, doop 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 there, and you plug it in, and then it charges. So relatively easy to charge. Obviously, it's got a lanyard on it if you want it, but you don't have to put that on there. He didn't give me any the packaging with it. I wouldn't expect him to. The interesting thing about this light is when you turn it on, there is a little readout. And that readout tells you the output. So 20 lumens for this one. It also tells you the voltage if you let it sit long enough. 3.65 volts left in the battery. And then we step it up to, uh, I'm sorry, you have to hold it down to 200 lumens. Then 900 lumens. It's going to get really bright here, so I'm going to cover that up. And then 2,000 lumens. Now, at this point, if you double tap, it goes to 4,000 lumens. Should, but it doesn't stay there very long, guys, because it's super, super bright. And then, obviously, if you just single click it, it turns off. Single click again. If you want a strobe, I think you got to triple tap. Uh, maybe you have to be in the highest mode. Yeah, sorry, double tap. Um, and then double tap again, comes back out of it. Woo. The 4000 puts out a lot of heat. In general, the outputs, when I tested them, they were pretty darn good. Um, all of them were equivalent except for the 4000. 4000 was a little optimistic, but really for this size light, it wasn't bad. It was surprisingly, for this size, close. And I think this is a really good pocket light. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Let me get the old calipers of doom out. I usually leave the battery out of the calipers just because it'll eat them. This is not a high dollar set of calipers. But we're talking about a light that is, yeah, no, 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 I don't, do I want, yeah, inches. So we're talking 3.2 inches long, right? right at an inch wide. So small, easily pocketable by most people. And if we get out the scale of doom, even with the lanyard, all things together, 3.3 ounces. So it's a simple, simple, I didn't want to do that, duh. I just want to turn it off. So a simple, straightforward light. And I, you know, it is, really kind of just what meets the eye. It's nothing crazy, reasonably priced right around. I want to say at this, at the time of this video, right at 50 or 60 bucks. And I think there's specials every now and again, and it's the same price through their website as through Amazon. I'll put links, but if you're looking for a small pocket size light that you can easily carry with you, that's not going to take up a ton of real estate in your pocket or purse, handbag, man bag. I don't judge any of that. Man, this thing's not bad at all. Um, I'll show you some beam shots, so stay tuned. All right, so I'm in the basement. Light's completely out. It's at night. Uh, this is the Emilent with the 20 lumen setting. And if you look, it's just, you know, a nice dim light. This is really good, I think, if you're trying not to wake people up. You're not trying to demolish your night vision, but not bad. If I step it up one setting, Go to the medium, that's 200 lumens. Floody, you know, not blinding, same thing. 900 lumens, nice and bright, not, not too crazy. The 2000 lumen, decent output, super floody once again, a lot of output. And then if I go to 4000, you know, it's, it's while it is double, it is certainly not so bright that it's gonna crush anything. No real hot spot, but plenty of light to work with. So indoors, the emulent's not bad at all.
All right, so this is the front of the house. Wood line's about 20 yards away, if you've seen any of my other videos. This is the emolent I'm getting ready to show you. And at 20 lumens, it's a very slight amount of light. Like, so we don't see a lot there. It's very floody, but you know, like I said, 20 lumens. If we step it up to 200, we start to see a little bit of the trees. And then if I switch to 900 lumens, obviously we're getting a little better. Then 2000 lumens, now we're starting to see some stuff. And then lastly on 4000 lumens, let's see if I, I think I double tap. Yep, 4000 lumens. So super bright, but super floody. There's no real hot spot, but it definitely lights up an area. It's pretty darn good for an EDC light. Uh, reasonably impressive, so I don't hate that. I like it a lot. So that's the emolent. All right, so now we've got a little more distance down to that street light way off in the distance there. It's about, I think, 160, 170 yards. This is the emolent on its low setting, uh, 20 lumens. Super hard to see any real dis difference, pardon me, at distance. At 200 lumens, we start to see a little bit at the 900 lumen setting. Now I'm starting to see some decent flood at the 2000 lumen. Like I said, plenty of flood, but I'm still not quite getting that distance. And then I'll just kick it up to 4000 and that's its max output. A lot of light, but like I said, super floody. So decent distance for what it is, but you're never gonna get that punch like you get with a higher candela light. All right, so. When I got hold of this light, I didn't have high expectations. Um, Jonathan was super hot on this thing. He's like, man, this is a really good light. Uh, he was really jazzed about it in terms of the output. I was really suspicious about, like, are those outputs legit? Surprisingly, they really were with the exception of the 4,000 lumen output. And look, for something this size, if it claims 4,000, I'm a little skeptical, but it came darn close. 3,500 lumens out of something this size uh, now, is it going to do that for the next two hours? Uh, no, there's no way it's going to do it. Something this size with a heat output and everything, it's just not going to do it. But if you're trying to get that amount of light for a long period of time, this is not your light. There's just no way. For its size, for its weight, this is a perfect little pocket light. I like that. You know, the one worry that I'd have is if you have it in your pocket, is it possible for you to get a negligent uh, light discharge? and uh, start having a wiener roast, entirely possible. So to guard against that, I think in my pocket, I'd probably leave it on the low setting, the 20 lumen setting, where it says, I don't know if you can see it, we'll see if this thing even focuses, but the 20 lumen setting, I'd leave that in my pocket on the 20 lumen setting so that if we did start to get a little entertainment in the pocket, that it wouldn't uh, cause us too much grief, consternation, or discomfort I don't know what else to say about this light, guys. I mean, there's not a lot to it, and that's the whole point of this light, is there's not a lot to it. It doesn't weigh that much. It's not that big. It doesn't take up a bunch of pocket space. Um, you know, if there's any real downside to it, just in general, I'd say I don't think the battery is readily replaceable. So if you do burn out this battery, I think it's probably Dunzer's. But I think it's probably gonna last you a good long time. It's not horribly priced. And overall, I gotta say, man, I'm, I'm impressed. I really am. Uh, I love the voltage display as well as the lumens display. So, you know, if you go, hey, what mode am I in? What is it outputting? Well, it, it'll freaking tell you. Um, I, yeah, we do have strobe as well, by the way. If you go into the, the mode setting, if you double click and then you double click again, you get strobe. For the most part, guys, I'm not a huge strobe fan, but that's in there. If you're like, man, no matter what light I have, it needs to have strobe. Well, this is your jam. You've got that too. But well, we've got the 20 lumens, 200 lumens. I think that's 900 lumens. The next one, 2000 lumens. And all of those were legit in my measurements. And then once again, double click gets you the 4000. I think I'm starting to run low on battery actually. Yeah, it might be. No, yeah, it'll, it'll do 4,000 still. And then double click again. We get the strobe, and it even tells you strobe, like STR, like there's any doubt, right? Yep, 
Yeah. So plenty of modes, plenty of usefulness. Uh, I really like the low light versions or the low light modes because really I think that's more useful for most of us. But if you do need a whole lot of output in a hurry, you can get there with this light. By the way, the whole body is already starting to get warm for me just veering into those modes. So Jonathan, man, thanks for letting me borrow this. Well, I think probably what I'm gonna do when I return this to you is I'm going to give you another flashlight that's a little bit bigger that might also be of use to you at work because I know you were using this as a work light and man, I've been kind of abusing your light now for probably over a month. I apologize, but I'm gonna take care of you. Guys, I'm not gonna spend much more time on this light. It's a minimalist, wonderful EDC light. I'll put a link down in the description. So if you're interested in getting your own, I was checking pricing on this and it's really kind of the same price on Amazon or any of the other sites. It doesn't really seem to make a difference in terms of pricing. And uh, so if you're interested in this, I got you. Just check the description. Jonathan, thank you again. Ladies, gentlemen, I'm not going to go any longer with this. Thanks for watching. I think this is probably going to be a little shorter than some of my other videos. But, you know, like I said, it's a minimalist flashlight. It's freaking that's what it's supposed to do. So I'm going to make a minimalist video about it. Guys, take care. Stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Get him, Jay.